Okay, yesterday I showed you how to create a new deployment in Family Browser for Revit 2012-2013 um, and especially showed off the new feature of a silent install. If you've missed that, you can find that on our blog www.kiwicodes.com and do a search for Family Browser Go Silent and it'll run through how to create, set up, create a deployment and run it silently. So I'm not going to go through all those um, setup issues today with this video, but what I do want to show you is a new feature that we added for Family Browser 2013 and also Project Browser 2013. Now if I'm in 2013 here, if I right mouse click here, I've got a lot of right mouse click options that generally the end user doesn't need to see. They really only need to see some of these family options. Certainly none of the BIM management options or creating groups and creating tabs. So we've now allowed that in Family Browser 2013 in the deployment setup area. So I'm going to go to BIM management and go create deployment. Now the sa exactly the same as the previous video on creating the deployment, I'm going to go and create this deployment on the network. go and find the shared folder where I want to put the deployment I'm going to put it in deployment test go OK I'm going to enter my activation code here and because this computer is already activated I'm just going to put in um, some text now we've got some extra options down here right mouse click options and this is where we can choose what right mouse click options are going to be available to the end user so I don't want the end user to have any collection options or any group. I don't want them making groups and collections because I've done that myself. Now I don't want them making any tabs either. Certainly in the families area I would like them to be able to, well I don't want them to add selected families to the um, office-wide catalogue of families. They're going to be allowed to add favourites, remove links, locate the families, edit the families, reload, that's cool. I'm going to undo search, go to URL, I'm going to undo. I'm not wanting them to create or edit a catalogue or recreate the catalogue um, or create icons. I've done that all myself. Pair icon, I'll turn off, create 3D WF, that'll be right. I don't want BIM management either. So I'm going to go create and close. So that's created the deployment, and we can see over here, if I maximise that, the deployment 2013 has been created and it's got the files there. So that's good. Now I'm going to just close out of Revit here. Won't save that project. And the same as previous video, um, the project browser setup has to be above the deployment. So I'm going to double click on here. And once again, if you use the slash s option, um, you could run this silently. So I'm just going to create this deployment. Basically, it's just overwriting my existing install. And now I'm going to rerun Revit. OK, we're back in Revit now and open the project. Um, so now when I right mouse click over any of these families, or right mouse click, I have only got the group option. I can change groups. I've got family options where I've got my pre-selected um, things in the family that I can do and settings for the user settings so that just tidies up that issue for the BIM manager he can now he or she can now um, choose what right mouse click, click right mouse click option the user has available to them so that's available in project browser and family browser 2013